it is half 11 and we are taking it very slow this morning we are still in bed well no we have gotten out yeah yeah i've gotten up i made i made coffee i made tea i made toast Been doing the puzzles. We've got two clues left. It was a very late night, and we went to see um, Wicked. It was incredible. Um, it finished quite late, and we didn't get home till quite late. We didn't get to sleep till quite late, so have a nice weekend night. We have to finish filming a video and hopefully post that today. And then, because the house is in a transitional state between non-Christmas and Christmas, and by the way, this is all of the Christmas decorations that we've got to sort out. Um, we've also got to, I mean, Charlie's like, we've got loads to do today, but it's not, it's all fun stuff. We, we're going to decorate the tree today in the house. We bought it a few days ago. Yeah, um, insert segment of us buying tree here. We are about to go and buy a Christmas tree. We've come out to a place not super local to us, Armandsbury Garden Centre, because last year, not only did they have really great priced Christmas trees, but the most incredible Christmas grotto inside too. You found it. Yeah. Twist, keep twisting, baby. Yeah, yeah, he's there you go. <laughs> like in QVC for Christmas trees. <laughs> This is us kind of like getting ready for Christmas. Essentially, it's starting to think about some Christmas shopping, decorating. Oh gosh, I love Christmas oh, okay. time. It's, it's like there's like the two sides of Christmas are like, oh my God, it's going to be so magical and Christmassy. And oh my God, I've got so much to, to think about and deal with. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're trying to have a more simple Christmas. Every yes. year we try to pair it back. Uh, when we say pair it back, we mean everything, or I mean everything except the tree. The decorations never get paired back. They go more each year. It's not Christmas if you haven't had to rearrange half your living room to get the tree in. We are both still in our jammies, as you can see. Um, it is now one. I've just finished editing the video that's going to be going up today, which is a bunch of uh, Christmas party foods. And we both just realised how hungry we actually are after that like small amount of toast that we had. So we're going to get dressed. We'll come back and finish all of this later and i think there's a bit of a christmas market on is that right yes so we're gonna go and head out and hit up somewhere to eat and a christmas market It's a big tree this year. I'd say, I mean, it is. Not nice and bushy too, down, isn't it? This many lights. I think I'm going to have to go, like, because this is the first time I've used them, so I don't know how many to use in one bit, but I've got loads left and I've done more than half the tree. So I probably have to go up and then back down. I think buying the new lights was definitely worth it because this has been so much easier and it looks better like there's so many lights on this tree now for dinner tonight we're keeping it really simple because we made a chili for dinner last night that is what i'm heating up on the hob now and we're going to have that with some baked potatoes so a proper warming classic dinner The tree is looking gorgeous. We've put nearly all the baubles on. Um, there's a few more. Actually, no, there's quite a lot more. <laughs> it's 
Plenty you've got more. more baubles than you could shake a bloody tree at. But the back is where we're going to put the next kind of batch there. Like, I mean, they're all lovely. They're all cute, but maybe like some are slightly less cute. Um, and we've had dinner and we're watching a new show called Rivals. And kind of, I completely forgot, but we bought these earlier. Blondies and one of the mince pie brands. They all treats home with us because we thought it'd be nice to do the tree and have them but um, I've done the tree because I forgot that we had them but we've got a, um, what was it, a stolen blondie yes. and a mince pie brownie so I'm they're like festive. I'm really looking forward to that mince pie brownie. Yeah, so we got um, one of each and Charlie has cut them. I cut them so we can share them. Yeah, so a little, little Harvey Harvey going to have a little cup of tea and it was time... Um, I think it's about half eight. Yeah, <laughs> half eight. So I'm thinking might leave it here for today. Come back and assess in the light. Come back tomorrow, um, finish the last few baubles. Then we've got to add the little icicle tinsel. And we've got strand. birds to put on. Bows to put on. And then that's the tree done. And then we can pro we probably won't get the rest of the decorations done in this video um, this weekend. Um, we'll probably have to do them like trips and drabs over the next week, but I don't know, see how much energy I have tomorrow. Um, might be able to get a lot, a lot more done than I think, but yeah, we're gonna have our little Christmassy treats. Just a bit of brown sugar. So for dinner tonight, we have decided to go with our korma recipe, which is a curry that we haven't had in a long time. In fact, we haven't really cooked curry in quite a while, but we think it would be the perfect thing for a cold night tonight. So at the moment, I am mixing up the curry paste. I need to sort out the aubergines and we're swapping it up a little bit. So instead of just aubergines, we are putting in some tofu, which we've not done before, but that should be for some extra vegan protein. Oh, and this is our curry paste. One of the things that's actually really helped me in making this recipe, a little piece of kitchen equipment that you could get for yourselves if you've not already got one, because we asked for grated garlic and grated ginger, this year for my birthday I got a microplane which is great for really grating up, <laughs> great for grating stuff to a really nice fine paste, because before I was just using a cheapy sort of micro grater like this. I think this one's from like Ikea or something like that. And it works fine, but honestly, it's nothing like what this microplane could do. Highly recommend one of these. Whilst I've been cooking, Freya's been busy in here in her new Christmas jammies, little Santa Claus. You've been busy doing a bit more to the tree, haven't you? It's really coming together. So it's a bit... Get it all nicey-nicey. The finished tree. I think I want some more bows. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, coming with us to get our tree and decorate it and have a very... It's been a very cosy, slow yes. weekend, which has been nice and we've We enjoyed. may not have made it to any of the Christmas markets that we wanted to go to, but it was actually really nice just to take it super slow and Definitely. slowly do the tree over the weekend. Go it always takes walks. longer than you think. I think in yeah. my head I was like, we'll get the tree, we'll go to the market, and then we'll decorate, and then we'll film, and then we'll do the stuff. But the tree's like a two, three day ordeal. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipes. We'll link um, the things that we made down below. Yep. I really enjoyed our um, curry this evening. Yeah, that really hit the spot. It's been ages since we've had that. Really lovely and warming for a winter's evening.
like we said, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's plenty more like it on our channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and stick around for the next one. Bye.